Burrito tour. to get my first burrito. It's not even six o'clock. It's like five o'clock, I think. Um, and I'm about to hit the special strip. I call it the Mexican food strip. On Fort, like Fort Blanchard area, there's, well, there used to be Tacofino as well, but there's two really good taco burrito Mexican shops. I'm gonna try one tonight. I don't know which one yet. stop I went to was La Tequiza. I decided to keep going but this is another spot that I definitely want to visit. Okay, here is La Taqueria. Um, right away, I wish I stayed in the restaurant and ate there because it looked incredible. Um, all of the spots I'm going to, uh, this is actually two different burritos because I couldn't decide. There was like a yam one, and then this is just more of your classic vegetarian burrito with mushrooms and tofu in it. Um, I've got my trusty Valentina's hot sauce on the side and a big thing of water um, and my criteria. I've got lots of criteria. So I'm going to start with the yam one. So as you can tell here, it's got some crispy yam and um, I think there's some slaw and some uh, rice and beans. And let's dig in. Hmm. It's very good. A little on the dry side so far, like I'm not getting a lot of sauce. I think there's sour cream and pico de gallo. I opted no for the guacamole just because I knew I was going to eat this all tonight and I didn't want it to go brown. The thing about burritos is sometimes the way they're wrapped up, it's not consistent each bite. And I just got a bite that was like a lot sweeter. Very good. A little bit more moisture in that bite. How this one side's dry, this side's a little bit more moist. <gasps> I hate that word. The cabbage is good. It adds some crunchiness to it because you want to get that like contrast as well of um, crispy and soft and that's why I liked the deep fried yam in here because it adds a little crispiness although it could be crispier very good very filling very hefty I think this was the heavier weight no this was the lighter one this one's heavier I feel like this is gonna sit in me like a lead weight in an hour Heat wise, pretty good. Um, I mean, temperature wise, pretty good. It was still warm by the time I got home. Took a while to get though. Sorry, here goes number two. This one's got more black bean in it, as you can see. I love a good black bean, like a refried, refried black bean. Neither of them are quite spicy. This one's a little on the spicier side, I would say. The flavor is better in this one too, I think. Textures, softer. This one's softer than this one. Mm. 
you see the carrot in there? I don't think there's carrot. Oh no, there's a bit of carrot in this one too. So it looks like they've done the same slaw, just a little bit of the different like proteins. There's so many different options. Like there was another one that was vegetarian, could be made vegan, a few pescatarian options too. I need to go back and their margarita scene, man. I should have added margaritas to this. Ooh, I'm gonna try them now with a little bit of hot sauce. Still on the classic vegetarian one with a touch of hot sauce. Really good. I don't know what else to say about these. Other notes I would just say is like, go to the restaurant if you can, cause it's just the vibe is good and they obviously have like a cool happy hour. It picked up right a bit when I got there. So I got there right at five when happy hour ended and then it picked up quite a bit on a Friday night. Um, good flavor, good heat, like add the hot sauce if you want the heat. I think most places now make their burritos, tacos mild in heat so that you can add your own. And for the cost, I think it was pretty good. I think they were $15 each. I'm gonna have to double check that. Definitely would go back. I think I like the vegetarian over the yam, which I'm surprised by. Okay, I'm gonna try the yam. So great if you have a group of people, there's just so many options. So I needed more sauce. I don't think there is sour cream in here. I think it needs it. Or like an aioli or something and crispier yam and crunchier cabbage. I like the sweetness of this one and I don't know if it's the sweet potato or if there's something else in here, I think there might be. I'm gonna to have to look at the ingredients. Okay, it's about half an hour later. Full-wise, definitely full. Like I was hangry before I ate that burrito. It's sitting in me, it's digesting. I'm wearing stretchy jeans. I feel like I could almost undo the button. That's how full I am. Got a little burrito baby going on. So um, overall, pretty happy with this one. Heading for my second burrito, the good old Tacofino. We've got a few locations for the Victoria one. burrito it's um kind of cold because we were waiting for a long time to pick them up and it was very windy outside but it's gonna be good I can feel it <laughs> and then the weight of it is very <laughs> I want to say girthy but <laughs> it's got a good weight to it is what I'm trying to say oh and <laughs> sorry <laughs> Someone. I'm drinking um, Whistle Boy's Hidden Gem Hazy IPA. Shout out to the Whistle Boy. It's hazy. Mmm, it's good. Okay, now I'm eating. I've had this many times, so I already know it's gonna be good. But what I do love about this, compared to the burrito last week, is the yam in here is really crispy, and there's sour cream, which is obviously gonna take it up a notch. Mm. And I've got my hot sauce. I like to do a light dusting on each layer. <laughs> it's hard to get it on. Okay. Flavor-wise, I would say 10 out of 10, it's so good. I've never, ever been disappointed with Takofino and their flavor. 
And I think they make their own wraps too. Really nice thin wraps, but big as you can see. Not a ton of heat. I would say you put the hot sauce on to make it hot. It's got like some mild spices in there, but otherwise it's pretty mild. And presentation, I mean, it's a burrito. <laughs> I do think the other place had a bit better presentation in the way they wrap it up and give it to you, but I mean, it's good. What I do also love about it is like consistency of the toppings throughout the burrito. There's like a big wad of refried bean here, but I think for the most part, like every bite you get a bit of everything. So I think it's probably one of my favorite things to eat and it's super filling and I love it. I don't know what else to say, <laughs> just that you should get it. But um, maybe bring like a little heat pack or something because it gets cool fast. I'm on my way to the final of the three spots that I'm trying burritos at. I'm actually on my lunch break, so I'm gonna have to move pretty quickly here, but I really wanted to finish this video and was craving a burrito today. brain fog today like you wouldn't believe. Boomtown. So far so good. It's heavy. It's mildly warm because I took, actually I decided to get an order of their gluten-free donuts with Dolce de Leche. I heard the waitress tell the person behind me and then right away was like I need to order these and then the person behind me was like what? Vegan or gluten-free donuts? I need to order two so Anyways, so this is the special. I wanted to get the cauliflower brussel, but then obviously I saw the special and it kind of, a reason why I got it too is it seemed comparable to the other two burritos that I got, squash, yam, you know, on that same tangent. So I thought it would be more of a comparable, comparable comparison. Does that make sense? But um, definitely want to come back for the Brussels sprout. My friend said it was chef's kiss okay got my trusty valentinas i'm just cleansing with water today and uh let's dig in so far so good like love the, that they've actually like pan fried the burrito which is my new like favorite thing to do pan fry them oh wow I don't know if you find this, but the first bite, there's always so much more I wrap in it because of the way they fold them. So let me get a good taste. Mm-hmm. So far, the most diverse groups of flavors. I don't know if you can see the color. Like beautiful purple cabbage, I think that is. Fresh chopped jalapeno. The cilantro is really coming through. Flavor wise, I think this one's my favorite. I still like the texture of Tacofino a little bit better, the crispiness of the yam. This has, well, let me take another bite. Definite crispiness with like the onion and the jalapeno. Yeah, there is some texture for sure. I had to get my criteria. Not a lot of well, it's not true. There's a little bit more heat in this one too from the jalapeno. I almost don't want to put Valentinas on this because I really like the flavors. I like that there's like actual black bean, like chunks of black bean. It's just so pretty. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> and I just love the squash. Yeah, you don't need hot sauce. Whew. It's definitely higher on the heat scale. I just got a big bite of jalapeno. So if you don't like spice, you might want to admit that. Mmm. Okay, I'm saving the rest for later. It's lunchtime and I'm actually not that hungry at lunch usually. This might be a lunch 
late lunch. Okay, a couple things I wanted to say too. Out of locations, I think this Boomtown was so cute. Little bits of seating inside, like this hallway in the back with like probably a few high top um, spots. I would say most of their seating is high top. I pay attention to these things because I know someone who can't sit in a high top chair. So um, yeah, it's important. So that's the one thing I would say about that. They need some more lower seating accessibility wise. Um, but the outside patio is really cute. And I just loved the whole vibe in there. It was really fun. Um, obviously a small spot, but they've done a beautiful job at um, playing with the space. Whereas I feel like Tacofino still feels crowded. Like the old location was so small. It was really hard to sit down. I feel like their new location is so much better, but it's still so cramped. They just keep making it really cramped. I've actually never dined into any of these locations, so hard to say. Um, and then the taqueria is just so cute. I feel like that would be the best spot to go if you have like a group of people and you wanna like sit and enjoy. So location wise, maybe the uh, taqueria. I think that's all I have to say. I, if I were to like compare all three, I'm gonna have to do all these scores. So let me like do some scoring now and show you who, who ranked the best because like I think I have a feeling of placement on the top of my brain, but I wanna do this very strategically. So I am a researcher after all. Um, I also have to try these donuts. They're gluten free, first of all, like how amazing. I'd have to check, I sorry, I did not check to see if it's like celiac gluten free. Cause sometimes you worry that they're not cooked in the same flour or batter, right? But I don't know if they do anything else battered, so. And then they made their own dulce de leche, what? Okay, I'm glad I got these, and I'm glad I'm eating them now while they're still warm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, so good. Like on their own, not super sweet. With this, obviously it adds some sweetness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay, I mean, you're not gonna go wrong with any of these spots. Let me know what you think. If you've been to any of these spots, if you wanna check out anything, else or what sorry if you want me to check out anything else in victoria burrito wise there's so many spots i just picked three i could do like a part two so let me know in the comments below if there's other spots you want me to check out and review and we'll see you guys next time thank you